CQ, CQ, CQ. Echo India zero, India Mike Delta. Echo India zero, India Mike Delta. Marconi alarm station calling CQ. What motivates a diverse group of people to come here to Wild Mizzen Head early on a Saturday morning? In a word, Marconi. Today is April 21st and it marks International Marconi Day. Known as the father of radio, this place is steeped in Marconi history. All around the world a celebration is happening, a celebration you might not have heard of. One local group, North Cork Radio, plan to celebrate in style and all with a little help from the Thunder Twig. Marconi Horn Station calling CQ. Frequency in use, frequency in use by Marconi Award Station, Echo India Zero, India Mike Delta, Marconi Award Station, frequency in use. The, uh, the North Cork Radio Group is basically a group of uh, radio enthusiasts. Uh, we cater for uh, amateur radio, CB radio and shortwave listening mainly. And uh, basically what we do is uh, we try to promote tourism within the county and uh, have fun events. So we come down to places like this Mason Head or Black Rock Castle, um, do uh, various shorter events in uh, different castles around the country and uh, we just like to get the promotion up there and try to get a bit of interest in the hobby itself. Uh, initially uh, we started in 2010 and uh, before that uh, there, was, uh, there was no group actually doing anything like this. Uh, the hobby was up and running. We just didn't have the, uh, the facilities available for people to come out and see what was going on. Yeah what we enjoyed about the hobby as such. Well, sure, um, I was uh, into the hobby back in the early 80s, uh, top the truck drivers on the CB, so I did, I, I'm docked doc here for a long time, and um, my interest came back again in 2008. Well, uh, I have an interest in, in shortwave radio, and I've also an, an interest in astronomy. So I decided to see can I marry the two of them basically and get the two of them to join the overlapping between the astronomy and the radio, you know, because I know I like to listen to signals from space and Jupiter and things like that from the sun. What brings you to uh, Black Rock Castle? I live here, it's my castle. Are you I bring part, are you, you to Black Rock Castle. Are you part of the Radio Society? Oh no, dear not, no, 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 no. Radio, that came well after my time. And when was your time? What does it look like? Um, basically our club, uh, North Cork Radio Club, um, does this event uh, on a yearly basis. Um, it is the uh, celebration of the birthday of Marconi, who can be considered the father of radio. And uh, closest to his birthday, um, all kind of ham operators around the world activating former uh, Marconi transmitter sites. And this is one of the original sites where Marconi made one of his first messages um, and, and tra um, transmissions. Um, we have chosen this location to, uh, to activate and to build a radio station um, on, uh, to celebrate his birthday. So that brings me up uh, to, to Mason Head. Um, well, my, my, the background and my interest in radio um, comes from a very young age. Uh, I had an uncle. Um, who was a, um, a radio amateur operator and um, he basically introduced me and I was only nine or ten years old and I remember staying over with my, my uncle and my aunt and then obviously he would, um, he would show me uh, the shack and we would make some radio contacts. For myself I'm, I'm a network specialist uh, in IT so the communication has always been in my life and radio in the back of my mind and um, only last year I, I decided to do something about it and um, sit the exam and get my, uh, my radio license. So that's uh, it's basically my, my whole life I've been interested in and only now I'm, uh, I'm doing something with it. Many ham operators have home radio setups and uh, uh, they kind of get into the routine of 
you know, maybe contacting America every day or maybe contacting Germany every day. And uh, when, when we come out to these locations, it's, it's completely uh, pick and mix, you know, you don't know what you're going to get from one end of the, uh, the day or the event to the other. So we activate uh, the, uh, the station and uh, basically try and get as many contacts as we can. I don't think again, if I was at home, 20 metres would be nothing to that. <laughs> so at least there's something. And my own interest in radio, I suppose, stems from a young age. Uh, my father was uh, in the Irish Army and uh, during the, the, the course of works for the army he did a lot of uh, signals and uh, radio repairs so I suppose growing up there was always uh, some kind of radio whether it be a transmitter or just a shortwave receiver we had those around the house uh, I suppose when I got to about 11 or 12 uh, I, I kind of sat there and listened uh, as he operated and uh, that's where the interest stemmed from Like at the moment, all the range of the space station is uh, thirteen hundred kilometres. You know, one thousand three hundred and twenty kilometres. You know, but it's close and fast. Like you know, so by the time it gets overhead, it'd be eight hundred kilometres up in a straight line. So like with a little walkie-talkie, you can talk eight hundred kilometres. So it sounds a lot, so but you'd be, you'd be very surprised how it actually can do it. Like you know. She's gone already. <laughs> she flew past already. <laughs> She's gone. It's connected up to um, to an antenna which I built myself as well. Um, it's a, a vertical antenna um, with one big long radiator up in the air, and um, there's probably shots outside already. And um, yeah, I built that one myself. And when we were testing the antenna uh, a couple of months back. Um, there were some jokes being made and the antenna was uh, baptized uh, the name Thunder Twig. Um, there's a long story probably behind that but um, yeah so the name of the antenna is the Thunder Twig at the moment. Echo India 3, Golf Golf Bravo. This is Echo India 1 November Charlie Portable. Operator name here is Lisa, Lima India Sierra Alpha. Operating from Blackrock Castle Observatory today. You're coming in here at about a 5-5, five, five, about a 5-5 five, five there, go ahead. I, I didn't really have an interest in radio um, up to about two and a half years ago. Um, Anthony, my husband, always had a shack or a dedicated room um, where he had equipment. Um, he was always interested in the hobby. Um, it was only, as I said, about two and a half years ago he, he suggested to me that I might you know, be interested in going ahead to do the exam. At first I kind of wasn't too keen, but I said, look, sure, I'll give it a go, see what it, you know, see what it entails. And I loved it. I loved the fast pace. I loved, you know, the very brief contact. One November Charlie Portable. Operator name here is Lisa, Lima, India, Sierra Alpha. And we're operating as part of the North Cork Radio Group from Valley Namona Beach today. Your report is 5-9 QSL. QSL Lisa, 5 and 9, you're 5 and 5. 5 and 5, hand out check. It's Julie and Alpha, Sala de Kilo. I'm treated differently on the air. Um, a lot of the lads in the group would say yes. Um, sometimes I would like to think no. I would like to think, you know, that I'm the same as any other station out there looking for a contact. Do you really? No, I know you do. I know you do. Um, Nick has a box and a. Are you saying? Hello, hello. Yeah, Echo India, one November, Charlie Portable. This is gone. So I would think that some stations would respond to my call a bit quicker to maybe one of the other lads, because as I said, you can hear you can hear male stations all the time, any time of day or night. Females, not so much. I would like to think no, but the lads would say. It's time for Black Rock Castle to go off the air. But that's not the end of this story, for there are many more conversations waiting to be had. I suspect Marconi would approve of this group of hams, who will continue to make waves well into the future.